Nelson Mandela's name had become a household word. This was no accident. The general advice we got from the British anti-apartheid movement, from a lot of others, that you need a face, you need a name. In the early period when we started, people hardly knew Mandela. It was not a household name. Because before we started, nobody cared. <laughs> it wasn't that much part of the consciousness of who Nelson Mandela was. Mandela's transformation from a largely unknown jailed dissident to a world-famous celebrity was the result of a specific strategy of the anti-apartheid movement. In Britain, we got the largest number of institutions named after Nelson Mandela. Gardens of University of Leeds and Mandela Gardens. Local authority smashes down old houses, builds a whole new one, there's Mandela. In the end, uh, the street where we had our office, Mandela Street. In Glasgow, the South African consulate, the street outside it was named Nelson Mandela Street, which embarrassed them. Three scientists from Leeds University believe they may have found the particle from which all others are built. By April this year, the particle had a name, Mandela. One has to show a bit of courage and stick one's neck out, and I think this is what we're doing. amazing the impact it had. People who were not born when Mandela went to prison were campaigning for his release. There is no man whose release has been demanded by so many for so long. 